Booty. All right. We're live. In three. I'm Ari. I'm Rue. And this is the backdrop. Suck it, suck it now. backdrop everybody on today's segment of black light we're going to be talking about our most cringeworthy moments that we had as children please forgive us and still love us after you hear these stories because y'all i'm very sorry i'm sorry you're my friend i'm pretty sure i'm not the only actually i'm positive that i'm not the only one and if anyone tries to tell me that i'm the only one i will call you out because i know there's photos in your past that show this happened in everyone's school so there were some kids who had braces, some who did not. I was one of those who did not. Um, but I wanted to have braces really badly. And so me and some of the people in my um, school or class would bend paper clips around so that they look like braces. You just do a couple of hours every day, or maybe just, you know, when you're leaving from, from class to go into recess and you just pop that on to be one of the cool kids. I don't know why that was our standard of cool, but. It happened. Sue me. All right, I was a paperclip mouth. <laughs> when I first started wearing makeup, I, you know how you put eyeliner on like the upper lid and also, are you looking at me like that? <laughs> when you put it on the upper lid and you also put it on like your waterline on the bottom. I didn't know that. I didn't know what went on your lower waterline. The this thing. The this, the this thing. I thought it went like directly under your eyelashes, like on the actual skin, the actual <laughs> in the crease, in the crease, in the in the crevice of the of the bags of the lack of sleep. And I actually had someone, there was someone in a lower grade who approached me and was just like, "Are you wearing makeup?" I'm like, "Yes." He's like, "Did you do that yourself?" I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, "Okay," and he walked away. We had this trend in our school where we, cause we had uniforms. We, okay. British system or, well, not really British system, but we had uniforms. Um, and what we did that was kind of the cool kids thing to do would be to wear your sweater all the time. But like summer, like deep into summer, <laughs> we're still rocking these sweaters <laughs> over our school shirts. Oh, and then over that, we would wear the blazer if you had a blazer. I don't know why we did that. Like, it was hot. <laughs> like, you would walk home, and we'd be walking home too. Sweat dripping from our faces. Mm -hmm. And we're just like, yeah. And there was also rolled up skirts. Don't ask about that. That's a different story for another day, but. <laughs> Cause who had time to be comfortable? We did strange things. <laughs> One day when I was little, uh, my crush and his family came over our house. I got about a five minute notice that he, and his family, but specifically he was coming. So I ran to my room. My room is like, was like <coughs> a shrine to Barbie. My walls were pink. I had like a kitty cat border on my room. My bedding was pink. My chair was pink. Everything was pink. And then, and then, then like these filing drawers were all my Barbie stuff. I had the the princess house. That's real. And I didn't want him to know that I played with Barbies, you know? I mean, I was at an appropriate age to be playing with dolls or whatever, but is this Are we talking about Yes. So I threw a, like a giant blanket over all that stuff. And then my mom came in and she saw, she's like, what are you doing? <laughs> And I don't, I don't remember, I just remember her having a talk with me and then I ended up taking the blanket off. And then they arrived and I decided, you know what? He's not gonna wanna see my room. Um, so I closed my door and we're all out there. And then his mother suggested, hey. <laughs> 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 
why don't you go in her room or something like that. Oh, I'm deceived. And our parents basically trying to get us to be friends. And so I opened the door um, and just pink galore. And all I remember is that is I remember speaking words at like a hundred miles a minute. I was just like, oh, okay, these are my bedrooms, but I don't really play them or anything. And that's my bed, it's pink. It's like, it's not a really big deal. You know, I was going on and on and on. I remember him not saying a word. He literally turned and looked at my room and then left. <sighs> okay, so when I was younger, um, like I was really into sports and my friend was not necessarily, in you know who you are if you're watching this. So we would always like miss each other during recess. So I came up with this genius idea that, how about if we were obligated to be friends? So I literally drafted a contract that said that she had to play with me during specific recesses. And here's the funny thing, she signed it. That's a true friend. That's real. You're a real one. <laughs> You're a real one. So when I was even literaler, <laughs> um, I remember it was like a Friday night or something and my mom was getting ready to curl my hair. So she turned, you know, she turned the curling iron on um, and left it on her dresser. And, you know, I guess she had to go use the bathroom or something because she left the room. And I just stood there in the doorway and then I spotted the curling iron. So I walked up to the curling iron and I snatched it. <laughs> Wait, no, dude, I, I thought this was gonna be like, oh, I straightened my hair or did something to no. my hair. Snap, okay, snatched it. I put my entire little hand around it like, like Mind you, there's steam coming off this thing. So you knew. So I knew better. So you, you all knew. But I, so I don't know. Knew. I knew. The next thing I remember is my mom putting like cocoa butter or something on my hand. Cause first of all, cocoa butter saves lives. You already know that. <laughs> don't underestimate the butters. <laughs> that same friend who I um, had signed a contract I also remember us creating this handshake. It was three minutes long. And when I say three minutes long, I mean three minutes long. And we never remembered the sequence after we created it. We were, I think we met in public like one time and I think we thought we were gonna do that handshake, but like we did maybe 10 seconds of it and then it was a wrap. Cause that was a whole dub, it was a dub. To do three minutes long, first of all, and finally, uh, my last cringeworthy thing I did when I was little is, and I don't even remember when I started doing it, but it was back when my hair was permed. <laughs> and, and it wasn't just me, just wanna say, what would happen, first of all, what was popular or the trend back then was wearing your hair in a ponytail. But you know, you don't, especially if you got like a big forehead, you can't just wear a ponytail and have nothing front. Now, we didn't have like those cute short bangs like this. So we made bangs, we made the bangs. So what we did, we like part like a little tail of hair. It was like two inches wide and it would like cover our eyes. And we kind of like slightly bumped the ends. The bump, the, the bump. I'm deceased. Oh, my funeral will be at 10. <laughs> oh gosh. But when I think back, I'm like, oh, why did I do that? Oh, thanks for being our friends. We're sorry. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching our video about the most cringe worthy things we did as kids. Thank you for still watching through to the end. Please come back for our next video. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, still give it a thumbs up. And also if you'd like to be notified when we come out with new videos, hit that subscribe button and that bell right next to it so that you can get alerts on when we come back. Oh, that's what that's what's the notification squad. It is. That, okay. We're still learning. <laughs> Bye. Bad. <laughs> wow, oh, wow, we're getting better at this.